Every Monday I wake up, I feel like I've been run over by a double decker. <laughs> <laughs> this is the official Leeds United podcast. What an achievement! Um, not just for for Leeds United women, but for for the club as a whole. How are you how are you feeling? Yeah, <laughs> feeling uh, really good. Like you said, it's been like thirteen years since we've actually won like a, a major trophy. So um, to be able to do that this week and with obviously a group of girls that you really get on with um, as a team, it's just um, yeah, it's a great feeling. Yeah, I think for me, I, I don't think I really anticipated how much of a big deal it was, and I think it yeah. was really, and you know, the, the the build up in terms of like you know the training, you know, throughout the week before the game, and then when we got there and saw like all the cameras there, and we got off the coach, and the fans were already there waiting yeah. for us and chanting and stuff. I thought, okay, this is a pretty big deal now, um, and I thought we just need to go out there and obviously just play our hearts out. And I think we were kind of saying after the game, it wasn't the best game of football that we've played, and we know that we're capable of of much more. Um, but I think to get that win and and to win some silverware just meant so much to a lot of people and especially like myself and Kath we've been at the club for years now and you know it's the first bit of silverware that we've definitely had our hands on so it was really quite special for us wasn't it Kath? Yeah and like you said because we didn't realise um, obviously when you was, it was a final you always want to win it it's a, a big event um, like like Bridie said I don't think we realised until we actually got there and like what was actually going on so anyway it probably worked out quite well so the nerves didn't get too much before <laughs> before <laughs> but yeah we got on the pitch like oh yeah it's a big deal this <laughs> but um, yeah no so I mean is that is that difficult because um, you know I talk we talk a lot about with, when they have guests on here about the psychology of, of playing um, but a lot of the guests we've had on here have never played in a in a, in a final um, going for some silverware um, so I mean what is the difference I mean you say you try not to think about it but once you're out there you show that the 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 occasion you can't help but being aware of that you know when when the referee yeah. blows that whistle you've got 90 minutes away from a trophy like do you just try and play what's in front of you or is there a tendency to think to give a little bit more because you're in because you're in a final how does the psychology differ to, to be fair I quite get nervous during like any game so that's just me in general but as soon as like the whistle goes it's it's just like any normal game I think it's right. more for me the build up to it all like for example what do we set off at like well I, I were up at nine o'clock on that Sunday morning and we didn't get home till 10 in the evening so it's just a really long day I think it's like I said it's quite mentally draining the whole right. build up going to the not we went to a hotel had some breakfast I know it doesn't sound like a, a massive thing but I think it's just it's bigger because we don't usually do that as such so I think that's kind of what gets to you I don't, I don't know that, that that's just my personal view but I don't know about you Bridie <laughs> yeah I think for me obviously you know we play games week in week out don't we and obviously you know you play in the league but there's lots of factors in the league you know if you were to draw a game or lose a game you know you, you're almost like depending on other teams doing something mm -hmm. similar in terms of like that competition for league places but in a final it's just one game it's one game in 90 minutes and we try and break it down into chunks and we try and break it down into like 15 minutes um, and at half time obviously it was one all um, but we knew that like and I said I was in a podcast yesterday and I kind of said you know you kind of get gauge in the first 10 minutes if this if we're going to be in for a tough game or right. if this is a game that you think this is winnable for us and in the first 10 minutes I knew that it was basically going to be ours to lose um, but obviously you know a little bit sloppy when we let them kind of get back into the game and you know we allowed them to grow a little bit in confidence I think they start to play a bit a bit better football but then at half time we just kind of said let's just calm down like you know the right. first half nerves are going to get the better of us because you know we've got quite a young squad and a lot of people have never played in these high profile games and finals and things like that so I think it was kind of up to the experienced heads just to try and say like you know just everybody calm down we've got 45 minutes of this but at the end of it if we really work our butts off like you know give everything leave everything on the pitch we've got some really good subs that can come on and change the game should we need them to but um yeah i think we were really grateful when the third goal went in because i think he, <laughs> yeah. two, one, yeah. he's still not safe are you and i think yeah yeah it must have been about 30 seconds after the second goal i think they hit the crossbar and i thought yeah, oh, right, they did. I'm not, I'm not through this like i don't want extra time um and then we, we got the third goal and then it was just about game management then so for the last 10 15 right. minutes we did really well at kind of keeping the ball in their half but yeah, it was it was nervy throughout the whole thing. I was so glad to hear the final whistle, but <laughs> I can't explain what the feeling of that. <laughs> I'm really interested about. Um, sorry, I mean, I want to talk about just the, the the occasion and whatever, but I'm interested in the psychology about um, 
about goals being scored because obviously you won nil up and their equaliser was kind of it was something from nothing it was a spec I mean it was a great great finish don't get me wrong yeah. but it was kind of just out of nowhere wasn't it and you mentioned there that you, you the nerves sort of start to creep in a little bit what what happened at half time you said that the, you had to just calm it down what did the manager say to you what did, what did, what did Rick say to you at half time to, to not allow that emotion to get away from you I think they were basically saying like how we we're doing well like basically like what Spride has said control the nerves um, it's just another game of football he was saying um, just another 90 minutes um, but he was saying like we are doing well because a lot of us hadn't been in a final as big as a national final sure, before yeah, yeah. so it was quite it probably eased us knowing that yeah we're doing well like he's right it's the first time we've been in a game this big so um, yeah I think that's probably help people to go back out and think yeah actually we can't we can do it just calm down it was a really so, positive team talk wasn't it Hans? yeah it was it was like well done you know you're in the game right. um you know we yeah. we know that we can give a lot more let's let's go out there and show the fans exactly what we can do and i think you know the first five ten minutes i think we stamped you know our football definitely on the game and like i said with second half we were definitely in there half more and you know sometimes we, you know, we said a few times this season we need to be a little bit more ruthless and we got ourselves mm. into some really good positions in the game and to be honest when I, when I think about the game i think do you know what? we did miss two or three really good chances and it could have really been more and i think like i said when they hit the crossbar i think that's credit to us and how we play because we kind of you know resorted them to shooting from from range you know they, they couldn't break yeah. us down so they were shooting from long range and unfortunately they did catch us a little bit off guard in the first half and almost in the second half but um, I think we just had that little bit extra quality in the final third compared to them so we were definitely like um, deserved yeah. wins, I'd say listening on together the thing is though like you have those moments where you get the recognition and you know everybody wants to talk to you talk about you but actually you two are an example of just having the ability to dedicate yourself to something throughout all of it, because those highs only come very rarely, but for all the sacrifice that you make, that's been going on for years and years and years of your lives, and that just shows how much you love the sport that you play. Yeah, my body's it? feeling yeah. it now, though, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> all these years. And, well, at the end of this one, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Every Monday I wake up, I feel like I've been run over by a double-decker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it means he's yeah. working you hard enough. Exactly, exactly. I can't complain. <laughs> but no, like you said, you get like um you get your disappointing days. Um everyone does within within football. Uh, but I think in the back of your head you know that you'll also have like a load of good days, a load of great days. So like you said, you get a win on a Sunday, you're absolutely buzzing going to work on a Monday. <laughs> it's just right. it's 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 one of them, so you ju- you just know that good good days will be there as well so and you, you that's why you go train as well you get on with your team that is a, it's a team sport um yeah so it's, it's good to share like the same emotion with what like 20 20 other girls 20 other players managers staff so it's yeah it's good to share it monday felt amazing this week though didn't it Cass? Like, yeah I'm yeah it like, i'm a champion like what the hell <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I even slept in this, by the way. I even slept. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no. Put it, put it on. Go on. Wear it, wear yeah, it for the rest of the interview. Come on. Okay. Right. Um, anyone uh, not watching the clip, um, Bridie's no. just put on her winner's medal. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know what I love? We can't really see it, so at the minute it just looks like you've got a hip yeah. flask around your neck, Bridie. Yeah, it looks green. Actually. Also fine. Also fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just no, bring it closer get... to the camera. Oh, there it is. That okay, is, yeah. yeah. Listening on together. Well, the trophies are just rolling in. Yes, they are, it. and I'm delighted to say that Ollie and Tom both join us now. Now, before you say hello, lads, I just want to tell everybody listening how big this is because 40 gamers, 40 battled it out for a prize pool of £100,000 and Ollie and Tom managed to get the trophy. So, lads, huge congratulations and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. No, much appreciated. No, it was, it, was, it was really good. It was really good. I think both of us are very, very happy where we are at the moment. Of course, winning a major and uh, winning it for Leeds was uh, something really special, for sure. I'm going to be honest, lads, right? I might be showing my age here, but when I was like 10 and I was absolutely smashing Mario Kart, <laughs> I loved it. Never in a million years did I think we would find a place in, in 
the world where people would be getting paid not small amounts let's be honest can't wait to check out that car ollie um to basically game right and but i wonder if i'm completely not undermining it but underselling it a little bit there because you dedicate your whole life really to this don't you hard work yeah, in terms of training, how many hours do you do? Or how many days do you do? Are there certain things, like certain tactics you have to work on? Things like that, Tom. Yeah, so I mean, me personally as well, like, um, there's a lot, kind of, a lot of layers that go into it. Like, I live stream, like, three, four hours a day, and I have done for, like, the last two, three years, where it's just, obviously, people, you get that kind of, like, audience of people wanting to watch you play FIFA because you can kind of do something that they enjoy watching or that they can't do themselves. And obviously that um, gives me kind of the motivation to keep keep practicing, keep making sure I'm like the best or making sure I'm as good as I can be. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that um, people don't really, that people kind of think, oh, you just pick up a pad, you play, you play, you, you play FIFA and hope for the best. No, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of like layers to the to it. And it's, it's a lot of hard work and Ollie just puts in just as much hard as work as I do. So it's good to see the awarded. Ooh. On that note with, with training and stuff, I assume every tournament you play the newest version of the game. So you were probably, you're playing FIFA 23. Uh, um, so you've got to spend a, a period of time, I assume, mastering the new game every year. Like how, how much time do you set yourself when the new game comes out um, to, to get up to speed, basically, before you can compete? I, I think that's different from all people. I think some people are... Uh, having it easier like adjusting from game to game uh, I think and for me I'm that type of guy that needs a lot of practice so at the start of the mm. game I always grinding a lot uh, right. and, play, and playing a lot and uh, I think as I said for other players they don't really need to put that much time but at the start of every new game it's super fun you know uh, a new game a new players right. new ratings everyone's you know, fresh so. exactly right so uh, no, it's just exciting times when uh, like the new FIFA is uh, releasing for sure do you guys get do you guys get early access to to the New Year's FIFA as professional players? Um, to be honest, not not really. I mean, there's like the, you can get like a, a kind of onto kind of a beta where you can kind of see. Right. It's not the full game, but you kind of see where they want to go with it, and it gives you an idea of what you're mm-hmm. going to be playing in the thing. But no, we get it really stay like the other people. To be fair. Wow. So you just got to really put the hard graft in. When did you both realise you were good? <laughs> I mean, me personally, I remember just playing with my, my, I was, I was much younger. This was, uh, uh, years ago, but I was playing with my older brother and his friends. And it was a case of like, oh, I'm, I'm like a much younger kid. I'm three years younger than all these people. And I'm comfortably beating them on a game. And that's kind of weird, right? Like you would expect really to, it's your little brother. You should be, you should be beating him up on video games, you know? So uh, at that point I kind of knew that I was, decent and then I just kept playing and um, eventually I saw that you, there was a, something you could kind of forge a career out of it so I just pursued that and uh, yeah it was, it was great. Yeah I, th- I think for me it's been kind of the same story uh, I got lucky that my grandpa got me an Xbox when I was like 12 so I started to get into video games by that and um, as Tom said I saw that I was beating my friends pretty comfortably right and then uh, started to come up against better players every time then lost but then started to get better and better and better and then as Tom said like saw that th- there was a big kind of career um, throughout this so uh, yeah I just went with that and I mean at the moment it went pretty well so yeah um, well before we let you go I just um, bef- now that you've won the, the Premier League for, for Leeds you now qualify for the EA Sports FIFA 23 Global Series Playoffs is that right? Um, that sounds pretty wild. Can you explain to us a little bit about what that's gonna what that's gonna partake? The global series playoffs is kind of like the um, it's what all the pro players are working towards, right? So throughout the year, they host a bunch of these online qualifiers to get to these um, playoffs. And for me and Ollie's region, only sixteen people make it, but because we were able to win the E Premier League, we uh, get an auto invitation. So it's really hard to kind of put into words what it. How, how difficult it is to make it but it's 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 a massive massive accomplishment and there's a lot of there's a lot of stake uh, it feeds into the world cup yeah. which is like i think for the first place is like 250,000 so it's like it's incredible mm. amounts of money so it's um a lot of prestige a lot of eyes and which is very happy to be there because it's difficult and the world cup um how does is that is that work in pairs as well no no from from now from now, me and Ollie yeah. might actually be matching up. Like it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's all ones from now. Yeah. 
Oh, who's going to win that? <laughs> Oli. You know, actually... Um, <laughs> no, come Eve, on. No, no, don't say that, Eve, Tom. Eve from come League, um, two, two years ago, uh, I was by myself. It was 1v1. I get out of the groups and I match Oli and... Uh, well, he was the score that's 7 1, was it? 7 2? Something like that. <laughs> Something like Something that. Like yeah. that. Okay, okay. Well, now well, we're watching. I think the, yeah, I think the biggest difference was now Tom went to Leeds and then he's starting to win, yeah, you know? So. That's the difference. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, lads, well, we'll be watching this again. rivalry. Yes, we certainly will. <laughs> Can't wait to see how that unfolds. Lads, huge congratulations. Thank you both so, so much for joining us on the official Leeds United podcast. And once again, massive good luck for the EA Sports FIFA 23 Global Series playoffs. Good luck, lads. This is the official Leeds United podcast.